I've been looking forward to playing this game since it's got released on Xbox Gold, you know, like the free games of gold. Uh, I'll say at this stage, you need to put earphones, headphones on, whatever. I mean, it's strange to me the idea of, I don't, I rarely watch anything without Bluetooth earphones in, to be honest. Or if I'm on the PC, it's headphones or Xbox, it's headphones. It's, it's such a such a difference it makes to quality of sound. Um, but yeah, with this game, you definitely want to have earphones in or headphones on, something of that nature. Because, uh, well, you'll understand why. This is a game that was... Uh, well, to be honest, I don't know if it was specifically developed for people who are visually impaired or if it was just developed as an experience that also people who are visually impaired could uh, enjoy. Now, I met a guy who had blindness. Uh, he was in his 40s, uh, still still living with his uh, el el elderly parents, really, and a uh, really kind soul. And... Um, he asked me, am I aware of any games that, you know, he could play as, as, a, as a blind man? Because I think he was limited to a few games on Alexa. And I was like, no, no idea. And unfortunately, I never got his contact details or anything. And I wish I could say to him, without having played this, but just it is an experience. This is the game. Um because, you know, this is a game to have a look at. I'm sure if he Googles these things, though, he'll find out. But, yeah, losing his sight later in life. It must be so hard work to, you know, for developing those compensatory skills. So this is the veil, Shadow of the Crown. I'm going to minimise my chatter <laughs> during the playthrough of this game. I don't know how long the completion time is expected to be. I could have a quick look. Um, so it's Veil, Shadow of the Crown, completion time. Five to six hours. Okay. All right. It's probably not that long. That's for like all 10. Oh, complete all 10, the Veil, Shadow of the Crown achievements. Uh, okay. Uh, it doesn't say like just a normal person's completion time. Okay. Yeah, so it is quite an experience. It's an auditory experience, really, uh, more than anything else. So there won't be much in the way of visuals. In fact, there's no screenshots here because of that. So this is a case of earphones in, close your eyes, and trust in my gameplay <laughs> as much as anything else. Uh, Let's get started then. Falling Squirrel and Creative Bytes Studios presents The Veil. Press menu button to begin. It's going to be interesting antithesis to what we largely occupy such a visual world. So having something like this is going to be difficult actually to not rely on those visual, the, the visual senses. Main menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the main menu options. Start new game. Game options. Game options menu. Game difficulty set. Game control. Sound. Sound settings. Change mask. Headset orientation test. Left speaker. Right sound settings. Game options menu. 
Game difficulty. Select game difficulty. Casual. Normal set. The game is set to normal. Game options menu. Game diff. Game con sound setting. Main menu. Push to start new game. Press the right trigger to select an option. Use the left stick to cycle through options. Any games with accessibility like in mind throughout the design of the game, do you? And yet, you know, just from a commercial point of view, visual impairment, deafness, a lot of impairments and disabilities are actually such a huge proportion of a potential market, uh, just from a, like a pure commercial numbers point of view leave leave the morality out of it please select starting difficulty casual normal setting the game is set to normal the king is dead it was not a hero's death it was the slow death of an old man but it gave him time to plot and fuss about his affairs enough time in fact to spare a rare thought towards his second born what to do with me? The blind girl he hid away in the keep. Would I be allowed to stand at my brother's side as he took his place on the throne? No. Even from the grave, my father would not allow me to burden the family. No less than 500 miles of barren heath and twisting veil would keep me from doing that. And now? Here I am on the approach to my new home on the outskirts of the kingdom. I hear a river. Where are we, Uncle? We're crossing now. You, Alex, are officially home. Describe it for me. I would think the smell of sheep would provide all you need to know. You could have said something nice. Made something up. Honesty is the greatest gift a princess could receive. Then you spoil me, Uncle. Why would it be my father's dying wish to send me to the Borderlands? Your brother is king. Your father wanted you to have something of your own. That's honesty. Even in death, father wanted his sightless daughter as far away as possible. I wanted you to have something of your own. From one second born to another, it's not an easy thing being in someone's shadow. I like the shadows. You hear more honesty there. You will make a wise lady, even out here in the borderlands. I'll make some chieftain's son a disappointing wife. You'll be just fine, as long as you can tell the difference between the men and the sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up! Oh! Oh! My lord. What is it? Odetan riders from the northwest. How many? An army, my lord. Can we make the castle? No. They're on us now. <laughs> to arms! Wait here, Alex. Uncle? Uncle! Alex, are you okay? Who's that? It's your brother, Theo. Theo, yes. Uh, what happened? We were playing Blind Seeker. He fell down the stairs of the loft. This always happens to me, doesn't it? Because you're the only one who can't cheat. Everyone else peeks under the blindfold. No. Rolf tricked me. He led me to the edge of the stairs. Well... The little Ted is hiding by the mill wheel right now. I won't say anything to father if you were to be careless with your cane as you search there. Use the left stick to walk in any direction. Use right stick to turn on the spot. Can't believe uh, I'm going to be walking about as well, actually, just just like a regular game, if you like. So it's going to be an experience. Just getting myself comfortable. I turned off the webcam. He's by the mill wheel. Okay.
right there. Go ahead, swing. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. back in the kitchens. Yes, my lord. You may go too, Theo. Yes, uncle. Sorry, Alex. I see you've found a new use for your cane. What is my punishment? If anyone should be punished, it's me. For things I should have taught you years ago. Like what? I stand directly in front of you. And I want you to swing your cane at me. You want me to hit you? Yes. My punishment. Your first lesson. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Swing at me. Now. Try again. Try again. No. Listen. Mm. That's hard. No. Over here. Very good. Now. When I move. Your head will remain facing forward, as to conceal your level of awareness from your enemy. My enemy? Listen. Now swing at me again. Excellent. Now, I'm moving to stand directly in front of you again. I want you to swing as many times as you can, as fast as you can. Master, uh, 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 that's good. Uh, know your limit. You want to be selective with your strikes. You will be limited to only a few consecutive strikes before you must pause to catch your breath. An exhausted fighter is a dead fighter. And what do you think is the first rule of combat? Don't die? Precisely. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Hello? Uncle? Ah. The carriage. It must have overturned. It's night. How long have I been out? I need water. I'll have to get to the river. I'm going to have to find my way to the river. It's quite... A strange feeling. To be honest, I've got my eyes closed. Uncle? Hello? Don't be stupid, Alex. Let's just say you'll find a friendly answer. Ah, wolves. Wait. That's reassuring. not one of ours. Perhaps Uncle made it out okay. Let's see here. Yes. A sword. Rusted. Broken. Better than nothing. And a scabbard. You'll have to do for now. You have gained a tier one sword. The view button will bring up the character menu, where you can review equipment, coin, and travel options. Character menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle menu option. Equipment. Use left stick to cycle equipment. Broken sword. Traveling clothes. Use left stick to cycle item stats. Le item quality. Tier 0 light armor. Take critical damage chance. 70%. Use left stick. To cycle equipment. Broken sword. Use left stick. Item quality. Tier 1 sword. Critical chance bonus. 10%. Heavy attack critical chance bonus. 20%. Critical damage multiplier. 3. Heavy attack critical damage multiplier. 3. Heavy attack guard break chance. 40%. Attack speed. Medium. Endurance recovery, medium. Coin value, zero copper. 
Wow, there is a lot of options. Use left stick character not, menu. Not options, like equipment. characteristics. Coin and salvage. You have zero copper. Character menu. Equipment. Core resume. Okay, what do I do now? Do I just can kind of walk in? Towards the river. Uh. Oh. Been so thirsty. Hmm. Who's there? Uncle? Okay. Oh. Not Uncle. You like sticks? Go get it. I've got a heavy one here now. Fair warning, you're getting this one in the muzzle. Well, I won't be sleeping tonight. It's hard to. What do I do, Uncle? Get an idea of where they were coming from. What would Theo do? I suppose a king wouldn't find himself alone 500 miles from his home. 500 miles. I suppose I start walking. Got to remember quite a lot about vision, haven't you? All roads to... lead east, they say. Unless you're walking in the exact wrong direction. Talking to yourself like a madwoman. Who's there? Friend or foe? Depends. Are you with your dead and horse? No. I have no money. I'm not out to rob you. You're limping. You're injured. You're blind, but perceptive. Friend or foe? You're highborn. You're not from the borderlands. And you? A shepherd. Where's your flock? In the bellies of barbarians. We are not foes, then? It would appear not. <laughs> I hear men approaching. Are they the king's guard? Afraid not, girl. This is where we part ways. Good luck. Wait! Well, what do we have here? <laughs> Looks like a shiny prize to me. Don't suppose she's the one the general's looking for. Okay. Stay calm. Think, Alex. Flashback time, I think. You wanted to see me, Uncle? You are going to learn how to use a sword today. My father wants me to learn how to use a sword. In truth, no, he does not. However, a princess and future protector of the realm need first be able to protect herself. Wouldn't that be my brother's job? Protector of the realm? Firstborns get killed every day, girl. You're going to learn this. Here, take this sword. Grip it firmly. You know I've never cared that you're blind. And our enemies will not care about that either when they set out to kill you. Now, I want you to swing your sword at me. Don't worry, the blade is not sharp. Push the right stick in the direction you wish to swing. Very good. As you can hear, your attacks are easy for me to parry as long as I'm not trying to do something else. Something else? Like what? Like hitting you. Now, if you don't want that to happen again, you're going to have to hit me first. And if you're quick enough, I won't be able to parry. Are you ready? 
I suppose. Listen for sounds that lead into my swing. My armor, the shift of my weight, oh and my swing the second you hear it. Okay. Uh, too late. Excellent. One more time. Very good. Now, shall we play a little game? No. Strike me three times and you win. All right. Oh, and I'm going to move around this time. Excellent. Ah! Very good. Uh, oh, excellent. That's three for you, niece. Well done. I know you think you don't need to learn this, but our enemies are unyielding and they show no mercy. Not for the young, nor the old, nor the blind. I want you to be strong, even stronger than your brother, because no one knows what the future might hold for you. All right, Uncle. What's wrong with you, girl? What are you staring at? Stay back, or I'll start swinging. Where's the, where's the other half of your sword? What are you waiting for? I think she is blind. Then that should make it easy for you. What a piece of shit this guy is, isn't he? Let his brachial artery. Ooh, that hurt. Oh, he's gone down. Girl. Is that the shepherd? Yes. Take my hand before more arrive. Where are you taking me? Safety. I have a camp nearby. So the shepherd let the blind girl fight by herself. Sorry, girl, for running off. What's a lame shepherd going to do against practice killers? I suppose I should thank you for coming back. I suppose you're welcome. I need to get back to the capital. To my brother. The capital? What are you doing out here? Merchant family? My family is very wealthy. There would be a reward if I was escorted back safely. Escort a blind girl 500 miles down a treacherous valley in the wake of an invading horde. Not sure what reward would be worth that. What would you do with me then? Teach you to tend sheep? Get your pretty hands dirty. You could buy a thousand sheep with the reward my family could provide. A thousand? <laughs> Must be some family you have. Or you don't know the price of sheep. Do you have a name? Alex. Alex. Hmm. I am Abdel Rashid. Call me Shepherd if you like. Okay. Shepherd. Getting you home, Alex, will depend on where the Odedin are headed, how well I can heal up, and who we can find to help us on the way. My uncle and I were traveling with a guard when we were attacked. They may still be around. 
If that horde set upon them, they would have been killed. I'm still here. Then you were not worth the trouble. Get some rest. It will be safer to travel later at night. I suppose you're indifferent to the dark. Thank you, Shepherd. Don't thank me yet, sheep. The valley home is long and winding. It conceals more than just barbarians. We call a sheep. <laughs> it's a bit weird. Our enemies are unyielding. Alex, pay attention. Yes, Uncle. Now, as a blind fighter, you will be well served to have a shield. Now take it here with your left hand. It's heavy. As it should be. Now, this time, when I swing at you, I want you to raise your shield. Hold the left stick in the direction of your target to block. Are you ready? Sure. Raise your shield. Uh, very good. Now, right after you block my attack, you'll have a split second to counterattack. It's a more defensive way to fight. Give it a try. Block my attack and immediately counterattack. Use the left stick to block your target. Then release left stick and immediately counterattack using the right stick. Uh, excellent. Another game then. Defeat me any way you want. Attack as I swing or block and counterattack. On guard, girl. Ah! 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 Once again. Well done, niece. Alex, wake up. What is it? Odedin. They've set up camp on the ridge above us. We have to get moving. Follow me. This way. It's a raiding party. They supply the horde as it moves. I'm afraid this won't be the last one we run into. What do you see? About ten warriors in small groups around the clearing. No room to get around. There's no central fire. They probably don't like each other much. I'll need a shield. What are you going to do with that? Use it if I have to. For now, I'll try to draw them away. You stay here. Wait! I'll come back for you. My uncle promised me the same thing. I am a cunning shepherd. I won't get caught. <laughs> Son of a dog. What was that? What do we have here? No! What? <sighs> okay. ah, fortune shines upon us. <laughs> it's the royal brat. We have our orders. Kill her and bring her to the general. No! Oh, I thought I'd have a chance to defend Alex, myself. Are you listening? What? You were off somewhere. I said, I'll draw them away. You wait here. No. It's not going to work. How would you know that? I just do. It's too dark. We'll move together. I'll lead. She has right. some we'll sort of get to the river. prescience then. you requested. Is this a 
arrow meant? It suits you. Now keep moving. You have gained a tier one shield. To sort of navigate through these sounds then. Shepherd. Yes, I think we're clear of the camp. Well, that was interesting Danix. experience. That's right. That's hey, really interesting. You Who are you? Stay calm, Alex. Let me talk. Look at me. Uh, my uh, sister and I were just returning home from treating lepers outside Bolt Keep. Lepers, you say? Bring the torch. Bring the torch. Sorry, Alex. We'll have to run. Or we'll fight. It's the missing princess. I'll tell the others. And share the glory? I don't think so. Give up, girl. Them apples. You really know how to use a barrel lid. I have my uncle to thank for that. We have to keep moving down river. I need to find a settlement. Somewhere to heal up. Lead the way, Shepard. Do you know this village? It's called Braga. But that's all I know. I've never been this far east. Describe it for me. Well, it looks like a village. Too small and out of the way for the horde to bother with. There's a smith, some cellars, an inn. Your leg. You're going to be all right? Not without clean dressings and herbals. I don't have any money. You'll have to sell something. Your clothes, maybe. My clothes? Your fancy cloak must be worth something, and you'll draw less attention without it. Have a look around. I'll be at home here with the animals. Can I help you? I'm looking for healing supplies. 
just horseshoes or a blade if you're expecting trouble. No trouble yet. Well, I would ask at the mill next door. The miller's wife is a healer. She sells bread out front. Is there a place where I could sell a few things? What are you selling? Um, some clothing. Some fine things, by the looks of you. There's been a foreign merchant set up by the tavern. He may be interested. I'll be going now. Thank you. Always welcome. Cause me to open my eyes. Um, Please reconnect controller. Press A button to continue. I will do in a second. Hmm. So I'm going to go and sell my cloak to the silk merchant and then go to see the baker. Game options menu. Game gates quit game resume game. We have you covered north to south. Well, then what have you got to say, mate? Ah, here's a young woman who knows a thing or two about finer things. I know a merchant from the capital when I see one. I can give you an excellent price on the furs. Well, fine pelts this warm west of Riverton. Actually, I'm looking to sell my cloak. Times is hard for me, too. Not sure what I could afford. A hundred copper? Ah! Oh, I mistook you for a fellow merchant. I see now that you're a highway robber. Why don't you just take my entire car while you're at it? I could also throw in what's left of my teeth, if you like. <laughs> what do you want, then? Ten copper. <laughs> Final offer. Now here's the thief. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, now that I see the cloak from the back, it's very nice. Fifteen copper. Truly, my final offer. Twenty. Done. That's fifteen and twenty copper as agreed. Nice doing business with you. Fly silks! Warm purse! We have you covered north to south! Here's the bread. Okay. Herbals, essentials, tonic bombs, and ointments. Herbals, essentials, tonic bombs, and ointments. Another way then. You're looking for something, child? I'm looking for healing supplies, dressings for a wound, and something for infection. Are you hurt? No, it's for my friend. Can you bring him in? I can have a look. I'll just take the supplies. It will be ten copper for the bandages and poultice. Here you are. Thank you, child. And this is everything you'll need. Right. Fresh bread, two loaves for a copper. Fresh bread, oh. two loaves for a copper. Not this way. Nope. Another way then. Purples, essentials, tonics, forms, and ointments. Can I help you? Just taking in your lovely village. I'll be going now. Thank you. Always welcome. Not really 
really sure where I was supposed to be going actually. supplies thank you do you need help with the dressing I know what I'm doing not my first blade wound I've spent more time in pastures fending off bandits than wolves I suppose you're not used to sleeping with livestock thankfully no they're warm at least I'll need a couple days before I can travel but it will give us time to collect a few things we'll need a bow for hunting and money don't suppose you know a trade? I'd like to find a better weapon. Perhaps some armor. A sheep in wolf's clothing. I suppose it will make bandits on the road think twice. Get some sleep, Alex. Sheep in wolf's clothing. All right. We should head for the inn and ask about work. Won't get anywhere without going. Just follow the music. Here we are, the wandering goat. I'll assume it's an inn and not a stable. Shall we enter? Press right trigger to enter. Left trigger to leave. It's pretty empty in here. But I guess it won't hurt to ask around. Push down on the left stick to cycle through interactions of interest. Press left trigger to leave. I am too old to be wandering around the wilderness. But I've heard there is a stolen strongbox in a cave north of here. These are... I was supposed to meet my cousin here. I have a shipment of silks for him. Why he'd be trying to sell silk out here is beyond me. I spoke with your cousin. He was selling just outside. I've been told he ran afoul with the local fur traders. He's negotiating with them at their camp. I was hoping to find someone to accompany me there. Do we look like bodyguards? Ha! <laughs> no. But you're obviously not from the village. So I can trust you would be reliable witnesses on me behalf should something go wrong. I can pay you 50 copper, assuming I make it back here safely. Press right trigger to take up this quest. Left trigger to pass. Yeah, why not? We'll do it. I kind of liked your cousin. Well, you'd be the first. You two can wait here. That's close enough. Gentlemen. Cousin. Hello, Byron. Tell them our offer. They want me to give them all my money and all my wares and head home with you, never to return here again, in exchange for me life. <laughs> what they fail to understand is that me life ain't worth a third of that on the open market. It seems to me, cousin, that you don't have much of a bargaining position here. And on the contrary. You see, I hid the pelts, and if they kill me, they will never find them. And if you tell them where they are? Then they'll probably kill me anyway. Well, I fail to see what I can do to help here. Good luck, cousin. No, wait. Cousin. We should leave now. No! No, uh, please, help me. Help me! You can have your cloak back! Stand aside. Let's go, Alex. I said stand aside. No. He stays with us. To hell with you!
That's not worth it. That was reckless, Alex. Well, we couldn't just leave him. And why not? How could I ever find you? How about giving us the 50 copper your cousin promised us? Oh. All right. I, I was about 35. You. Dirty. I jest. I jest. 50 copper, and I, I, I'll throw in a couple pelts. Yeah? Coin and salvage. Nice. We have a little coin, so let's see about getting that bow. We should head for the smith. Can I help you? We need a bow. And perhaps a little steel for the road east. You know that the horde is on the march. Well aware. Thank you. I haven't done much in weapons since the local garrison left years back, but I have a couple of salvage pieces laying around. Push down on the left stick to cycle through items of interest. Press left trigger to leave. I have this sturdy sword for 30 copper. I have this old hunting bow for 15. Press the right trigger to con I think this padded armor and bracers might fit you. You can have it for 50. Press the right trigger to consider purchase. This oak shield should serve you better than that barrel lid you're carrying. The padded armor. Press the right trigger to consider purchase. The bow. Press the right trigger to cons Use the left stick to cycle item stats. Press right item quality. Tier 1 bow. Critical chance bonus. 20%. Critical damage multiplier. Reload speed. Coin value. 15 copper. Press right trigger to buy item. This item will cost 15 copper. Your current coin amount is 60 copper. Press right trigger to confirm purchase. Wait, I had 20 Press copper for the jacket. To consider our cloak. Options. Oh, get it. Good luck with that. And if you're headed east, you will need it. Push down on the left stick to sight the blade. Press the right trigger to consider purchase. The padded armor. Use the left stick to cycle item staff. This item will cost 50 copper. I don't have enough coin. Push down on the left stick. The blade. Use the left stick to this item will cost... 30 copper. Here you are, girl. Don't cut yourself. Push down on the padded armor. This oak shield should serve you better than that barrel lid you're carrying. Use the left stick. This item will cost 20 copper. Can't afford it yet. Push down. I'll be going now. Thank you. Always welcome. Well, we have our goal. We can move on now. Unless you want to find better equipment for the journey. When you are ready to travel, press the view button to bring up the character menu and select the travel map. Don't. Not this way. Okay. Another way then. Ah. Character menu. Actually.
Here's the end. Should we enter? Press. Push down on the left stick to cycle Quests. through interactions oh. of interest. Press left. I am too old to be wandering around the wilderness. Can I bring you some wine? Tea? Bread and cheese? Anything would do us both good. I might pass on a cheese. Just saw a huge... Oh, dumb rat! It's over there, beneath the table. Where? By your feet, Alex. Hold on. Got it. Now, blessings on you. A cup of wine on me. Oh, if only you could do that a few dozen more times, I might be rid of them. Perhaps we could do just that. Do you pay in copper or just wine? If you're serious, I'd be happy to pay. A rat bit my child last night. Been coming up from the cellar since the last storm. How's 20 coppers? You want to go rat hunting? Press right trigger to take up the... It reminds me of a game I used to play as a child. You played a game with rats in a cellar? Show us to the cellar, innkeep. I'll teach you how to play, Shepard. There's a shovel by the door. Might suit you better for the job. I've got it. Here. Take the lamp too. No, no. It's, it's better in the dark. The light will just send the rats into hiding. Rats in the cellar. Catch them in the dark. Be done a four, the morning lark. Alex, it's black as pitch down here. I don't think I'll be of much use. Nonsense. We'll play as a team. All you do is move around quietly and listen, and when you find a rat, you hit it. That's not a game, Alex. That is hunting rats in the dark. Ah, but it <laughs> was a game, and one that I was particularly good at. Our cook would open up the cellar for us when we were playing in the kitchens. I think I hear one. Follow me. I think I missed. Here, hand me the shovel. I'll show you how it's done. Rats in the cellar. Hear them squeak. Three dirty rats to get your sweet. I've got one here. I keep perfectly still and swing in the direction of the rat. Gotcha. So, if you collected three rats, Cook would give you a sweet. Now, the other rule was if you accidentally hit another child, you would have to give them one of your rats. So, your cook would send spoiled children into a dark cellar to catch rats and keep them out of the kitchen. I didn't think of it that way. It was still one of my favorite games. I nearly always won. <laughs> oh, dear. This way. Not hit Shepherd around the back of the head. Here's one. This is just as fun as when I was a kid. You are very good at this. I think we nearly have them all. Oh, over there. One more. Oh, 
hold it right there. Cook would be proud. I think that's it. Well played if I do say so myself. Let's go fetch our reward from Cook. I mean, uh, the innkeeper. <laughs> right fashion. I think I'll go by Your cellar is rat free, good woman. All the padded blessings. armor. Blessings on you. Here's the 20 copper as promised. Oh, your cloak is soaked. Hang it by the fire and I'll get you some tea. I'm fine. It will dry soon enough. Anytime you folks want a drink, it's on the house. Oh, you have gained nice 20 copper in coin and salvage. Push down on the left stick to cycle through interactions. Right, where's the blacksmith? Red bread, two logs for a copper. Can I help you? I'd like to see yeah. your weapons and armor. Push. I think this padded armor and bracers might fit you. You can have it for 50. Press 50. the right trigger to... This oak shield should serve you better than that barrel lid you're carrying. We'll say 20 copper. The Use the left stick. This item will cost 50 copper after... I don't have enough. Push oh. down on the left stick. The padded armor. The shield. Use the left stick to cycle. This item will cost 20... It's a fine piece. Take good care of it. The padded armor. Press. I'll be going now. Thank you. Always welcome. Fresh bread. Two loaves for a copper. Right, I'll do one more quest. Here's the inn. Should we enter? Press. Push down on the left stick to side. I am too old to be wandering around the wilderness. But I've heard there is a stolen strong box in a cave north of here. Sounds good. Thieves are gone, but the box is still there, apparently. Why would they abandon it? I don't know. It's just what I've heard. Mm -hmm. The account was very detailed. They hid the box behind a waterfall at the back of the cave. What do you think, Shepard? I think it's a good way to get ambushed by a cave full of thieves. Press right trigger to take up this quest. We could at least see if the cave exists. At the first sign of trouble, we turn back? All right. What do I know? Well, the old man was right. I can see the opening. What do you see? I can hear the wasp. It looks wet and dark. I don't see any footprints in the mud. Perhaps we are safe to enter. It's very dark. I can hear the water. Follow me. There's an old fire. And deer bones everywhere. These thieves were a bunch of pigs. I see the box. Gosh. I think I know why the thieves left. What is it? A very, a bear. very looking bear. It will chase us down if we try to run. I'll try to distract it. You hit it. Hey! Hey, you! Ugh! 
Shepard, you are right? Yes. Let's see if this was worth it. It's the bare necessity. It's empty. The chest itself might be worth oh. a few copper. Well, Man. it's something at least. Well, you've just bought a bear for an empty box. You have gained 30 copper in coin and salvage. Get in. So how much copper do I have? Character menu. Travel map. Equipment. Coin and salvage. You have 45 copper. Character menu. Push down on the left. Where to now? Mm. We should think about setting out. I really wanted the armor. Here's the inn. Should we enter? Press. Yeah. Yeah, we should. There's nothing for us here. Let's go. Two loaves for a right. Character menu. Travel map. Press the. We are here in Braga. River Town is four days' journey from here. Press right trigger to proceed. Left trigger to remain at this location. Well, game options menu. Saying game that. Game control. Sound. Quit game and return to main menu. Main menu. Push down on the left stick to cycle through the main oh, menu. Oh, excuse options. me. Oh, keep closing my eyes for all that time has um, been uh, interesting. Tiring, shall we say. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised at how good that is now having the privilege of uh not complete vision <laughs> but but nor am i visually impaired i'm just uh i wear glasses but um yeah you know in, in terms of how that compares to a normal game i'm, I'm doing the inverted commas there um not not a touch if i'm honest like brutally honest like a, a normal fps game but then it also what does compare favorably for this game is it felt a lot more immersive and i, I don't know if that's because they've had to up the quality of the acting and the narrative and what have you but i certainly feel a lot more immersed into the game I certainly feel a lot more vulnerable playing the game and that that's interesting because then that that also causes me to invest into the protagonist you know to really identify with the, with the protagonist which is really yeah that's quite strange um i'm i it has surpassed my expectations to be honest now my expectations weren't particularly high but actually i it really has surpassed my expectations. I think absolutely commendable for the developers to make a game like this. Really, it's truly commendable. That's that's superb. Um, it'd be interesting to see what the reactions of anybody who is blind or visually impaired to some degree, let's have a look, would say about the game. And there was one review I saw in there, which I marked with a helpful. Oh, I have done now. Uh, after losing my sight in my right eye many years ago, I often wondered how I could continue gaming if I went blind. Well, this game has answered my prayers. To all who made this game possible, you should be very proud of awesome game. Respect to the developer. Do you have created an experience of visually impaired people is worthy of high praise indeed? That'd be interesting. Whoa, mama. <laughs> it's amazing. Must have sound on, XD, or you'll feel silly. For people with sight difficulties, 100%. No idea why rating is so low. Maybe people just mad because they got, they saw um, a completely different experience. There is a restaurant that. Or oh, a few restaurants that had a a um, where they'd serve the meal 
in complete darkness, pitch black. There's two restaurants that that did it as like events in in the south of England, and and I didn't go, but I'd heard that it was a really different experience. Like again, it was just another different experience. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We went round a museum in Oxford one time um, in the uh, in the dark, but with a torch. And again, it just just you know we're in such a visual world, and it really enables you to to sort of say, let's just lessen that sense a little bit, the input from that sense, and then causes you to focus on other senses. And it's almost like some of those other senses, like you know tactile stimulation feeling just brings you a bit more into the now i'm going to give this a rating having not played much of it though but i'm going to give it five stars and i'm going to add a review to this and just say yeah really impressed Um, excellent scripts and acting makes it really does make makes many Other games let's just say shames many other games actually and is actually Quite immersive. I think, therefore, I am. I think that being deprived of visual stimulus. Excuse me, feeling vulnerable. And, uh, um, Attached to our investments in and attached to Superb. Game. And not exclusively. Anybody with a visual impairment? Right, there we go. This is Xbox is one of the 
few places because I'm a miserable bugger, right? At the best of times. And Xbox is one of the few places I actually write positive reviews. Everywhere else on the web gets a right shafting from me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I bought a mobile phone from somewhere and I was damning on this company. It was like, you know, flipping five different review sites. You know what I mean? Damning emails. It was just, <laughs> the whole thing was damning. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't actually... <laughs> it might do something like um, libel or something like that, you know. What I mean, um, an eBay sometimes I can be really damning. Don't buy from this seller; he's a scammer. Don't be the one in so many people that get scammed. You know, what I mean, I'm just terrible like that. But yeah, with Xbox, I would say I'm 99% positive with stuff, even when something's absolutely atrocious. I, I, I don't think I've ever given as low as a one star rating. But yeah, it's a good game. Really good game. Well, that was part one. And I always intend to come back and get games completed. I rarely do in reality. Well, it's not that I rarely do. What, what, the trouble of what's going on? Oh, wait, no. Don't do that. Get downloading that. Wait, why is that? Oh my god. The number of times I've tried updating again. The number of times I've updated that store. It's unbelievable. Yeah, it's not I'm not saying I won't come back. I just know in reality of these 327 games I've played like 50. Do you know what I mean? It's ridiculous. Well, no. Ah, I've played maybe 120 of them. There's still loads that I've played. I only bought that the other day, thinking I didn't already have it. So I already do have it. Silly. But, um, yeah, I'm trying to just play around with each one and just get up a bit of time in each one. And, um, you know, eventually then I'll come back to them and start and do, give them a playthrough. So it's just like I'm sampling it and I put it on Twitch every time I do it, like a, an hour sample. But the reality is I seem to be acquiring them faster than I'm playing them. My backlog of what I have and haven't played, uh, what I haven't played is just building up. So it's ridiculous. I need to... Um, Stop acquiring games, but the trouble is, I don't know. It's a bit addictive. It's not that. It's it's when you see them on offer, you just know now's the time to have it. And I'm like that with most things. I've bought stuff from car boots I haven't used for years. You know what I mean? It's been like five or six years before I find it, and I'm like, thank God, I managed. I bought that. I had the foresight to buy that. You know what I mean? Oh well. I don't, I can't even remember what that's about. I mean, I bought it. I've never used it. I don't. I have no idea what that is. First person shooter. Okay. Never heard of it. If I'm honest. Why would I buy a first person shooter? I don't need one. I've got enough of them. Oh well. Right. I'm tired and. Yeah, I need to catch up on Star Trek. <laughs> to Earl Grey, hot. So I'll catch you later and we'll do something different and exciting later on Friday because I'm going to the gym for most of the day and swimming, etc.